అండ్ స్టే ఆఫ్ ఇండియా లైక్ మహాదేవ బ్లస్ దిస్ కంట్రీ బ్లస్ దిస్ గ్రేట్ నేషన్ బ్లస్ దిస్ గ్రేట్ ల్యాండ్ let mahadevas grace be on this country today whatever has happened how many janmas you will live that will be there in your inner space as bolted i know it is going to be there in my inner space forever seen to be seen experience to be experienced sound to be heard touch to be felt taste to be tasted no other word can explain the shahi sna ocean of people merging into river of water you have to see it you have to see it no photograph no videograph can do any justice to it program is uh, truly a gift from Swami Ji free of cost for us to learn about the Vedic tradition, Vedic lifestyle and about Hinduism. And uh, we start our day in the morning doing morning yoga, pada puja, then listening to Swami Ji's satsang and uh, going to chanting class, doing sevas and also learning about the guarantee solutions. and at night we do our completions everything we do here has very profound and tremendous meaning and also impact to prepare our body deeper level of completion with ourselves and to always be in the space of shiva home so i'm learning about the vedic lifestyle vedic chanting mantras in the most authentic form as per the agamas this is a program that i've been waiting for for a long time i really enjoy just being here there's a certain kinds of uh, confidence um, just being here um, there are so many things i normally don't do like speaking in public speaking in class or even speaking in front of camera i definitely feel more comfort uh, confident comfortable doing that being in this environment now i know i have to come out of those incompletions that i've struggled with for many years and i'm just so glad that even if i messed up it's okay no one's there to laugh at me we're all like we're all growing this is the best life that i can give myself and that master can help me you know to live a more complete life how to awaken to true purpose and highest potential when you are ferocious to challenge anything which says it won't change that ferociousness to change everything is what i call seeking whatever can be changed inside you by your ferociousness is awakening whatever can be changed inside you by my ferociousness is inner awakening if you want to see my ferociousness and what all it can break in you and change in you come to inner awakening come to meet kala bhairava in kashi
Hi, my name is Megan, I'm from Canada, and I was blessed to receive the Samaya Diksha from Swamiji the other day, along with about 650 people from Tamil Nadu. So it was a great blessing for the few of us Westerners who got to attend. And what I've experienced since that Diksha has been phenomenal. I spent the first couple of days after the Diksha feeling a little spacey, which isn't unusual for one of Swamiji's procedures. It's as if the universe is downloading and we get put on the snooze button. But when I came out of it, I felt immense clarity and immense connection with everything that is going on around me. I'm in the Ananda Yogam program and often I struggle with the studying of the Upanishads, Sanskrit, all the chanting we do. Sometimes I get sleepy because of the process through the classes and that has gone away. So now when I sit and chant, the Sanskrit makes sense, the Upanishads make sense, everything that's being said to me has immense clarity. There's something amazing happening and I don't, I'm a scientist at heart and I'm not quite sure what's happening, but I've been given a massive gift of clarity and knowledge and understanding and I look forward to the next step. He says that there are seven steps to living the Shivoham lifestyle and I can't wait for the next step because this first one has blown my mind. Actually, when I arrived and I began taking the program, I experienced something quite extraordinary, an energy and a, a knowledge experience that is nothing like I've ever had before. So everything that I learned before I came here as a yoga teacher, I just dropped. And, and really now I'm beginning to imbibe the authentic yoga that um, Paramahamsa Nityananda is offering to us in this lifetime. It is full of the power of authentic yoga, meaning it is for spirituality, enlightenment, growth, expansion, everything beyond your body and your mind. It definitely is an awakening of every possibility in your life. I have a question. Then is secret crush something wrong to have? Because if, if we have a secret crush that you should that you want that you want to be like uh, Mahadeva and you want to be like him, then isn't it something good to have? Adding a point, like how Swamiji once told, like love of the master, like when you tell like you love the master, it's like actually master's love which is coming to you and then flowering you and then going back as love for the master. So what I feel is like that is the process like where like the Dvaita slowly becomes Advaita, just flowers into the space of Advaita. Same way when you're feeling connected with Mahadeva, that Mahadeva's love current just fills you and then you just realize that you and Mahadeva are not something separate but one and the same. So what I feel is there's no attachment at all there. There's no powerlessness at all there. Because that you having that cognition of Shivoham is going to continuously strengthen you. It'll be like a power for you. So what I feel is that's not at all secret crush. So but and any secret crush is going to get powerlessness only inside you. So what I feel is secret crush is wrong. What I feel is like you can never have the attachment to becoming like Mahadeva. What I feel is you can only have the seeking to become like Mahadeva. Because whenever you become like Mahadeva, when you are going to become like Mahadeva, that time you only like you only put all your powerful energy and all your and whatever you have in your life just for becoming like Mahadeva. So what I feel is like you can only from the space of completion become Mahadeva. Never from the space of incompletion, having a secret crush, you can become like Mahadeva. I have a question. What do you mean? What, what do you mean by it's beyond, beyond the change? Because the only thing which goes on is the changing around you, the surroundings and the situations. So what do you mean beyond the change? What is that space which is beyond the change? What I feel is like even in the first verse of the Isha Vasya Upanishad, Isha Vasya Midagum Sarvam. Even in the changing, the changing, the change of the changing, even that Isha just Isha is there because there's nothing else other than Isha existing. Even like how Swam told, even if there's a lot, there's a lily flower today a blooming, or even it withers away tomorrow, even in that change, Isha is still there. So what I feel is, 
even in the change consciousness is there and it is beyond the change itself because it resides everywhere even if to- today there's a lily li- li- flower it resides in that flower if tomorrow that flower is not there in some other form it resides in in that form also so consciousness is filled everywhere and it is beyond that changing